Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eno. So in today's video, I'll be talking about functions in Python. So a function is nothing but a block of code that do a specific task or perform a specific function. In Python, functions allows a reuse of code. Uh, it uh, allows us to break down large pieces of code into uh, smaller uh, pieces of code and also allows us to share and to avoid um, reinventing the wheel. Most of the functions of the basic functions you want to do with your code, you'll find that there's already a function out there that allows you to reuse that code instead of you coding your own lines of code from scratch. So for instance, we have in Python, there's like a built-in, a bunch of built-in functions. An example would be the length function, which allows you to determine the length of an object. Uh, for instance, I can do here, let's say a variable called my string here and then let's just do string and then we can return that length of my string right here i'll just call it my string and then let's try and uh, print length of my string which is nine. To define your own co uh, your own um, function in Python, you need to use the keyword def, which is a short form of definition right here. And then after that, you need to put in the name of the function. So you have to follow the the naming convention for uh, for for writing a function, which is similar to the naming convention uh, for writing a variable. So Normally you start it with either underscore or a, uh, a letter and then you love your open and closed parentheses here and then a colon and then you indent everything after that. Anything associated with this function should be indented under the, the function definition. So this is just a quick example here. Uh, so in order to use this function, if I run this, nothing is going to happen because you have to actually call it. So here I'm calling the function. Now if I run it, it should print this out. This is a test function. Another thing that you normally find, which is kind of best practice when defining your function, you want to do like a doc string. What that does is it just gives a, a brief description of what the function does. So you want to put that in between three quotation marks and you end with the, quotation, the three quotation marks here. Another way to put a comment is just to use this pound here. And then this is just for if you have a line of information you want to add for anybody that's going to be reviewing or using your code, it's going to use that to learn more about what your function is doing. Okay, moving on. The, the other thing about functions is that when you create your function, you can pass in, you can define uh, parameters, this can be passed in as arg arguments when the function is called. So you can have one or you can have multiple of them. Uh, so so that when the, the code is called, the, this will need to be passed before in order for the, the uh, function to run. So for instance here, I'm calling this hello function and I'm passing in this string here because uh, it says something has to be passed here. So if I run it, it's gonna uh, print hello and then this, which is uh, the parameter here that's defined under the functions definition line. You can also use like a variable to pass into the function. So here I have a, a variable called my name and I've given it uh, a string eno. Then I'm using it here to call, when I call the function, I'm using that variable. And that should allow me to print hello and then that variable here, uh, which is the the argument that, that's passed. So when, when you're calling a function, if you don't uh, give uh, provide any uh, arguments and that function requires arguments, you you run into an error, which will say something about, you know, uh, arguments are required, but none was provided. So here, I'll, we have an example, I'll comment out these two lines. And then in this example here, as you can see, I'm gonna call the function and not provide any, any arguments, and that should generate an error when I run it. And that's, 
the error here is it's saying that the function hello missing one require position argument first name so this is the argument that it's talking about or the parameter so pretty much uh, an argument is what you pass when you call the function that will refer to the, the parameter that was uh, defined in the function we'll move on to the next aspect to do with functions you can define your functions and provide like a default value for the parameters that way if somebody calls the function without providing a parameter that default value will be used so in this case providing an, an argument is going to be optional so for instance here the first name is given a the first the, the parameter called first name is given here default value or string somebody so this allows the function here to be called without passing any argument and that in that case this default uh, parameter here will be used the default value so if I, I run this it should use somebody here and say hello somebody so hello somebody at the same time you can provide an argument of your own when you call it and that will be used instead instead so in this case it should say hello eno and that's what happens here the other thing uh, with the functions in python is that you have an option to call the function using either position arguments or you can use a keyword argument when you have a function that has multiple parameters or that requires multiple arguments you can use either the positional or the keyword arguments to call it so on this one here this example I'm, I'm calling using the positional argument so in this case the interpreter is going to assume that in or refers to the first parameter here and then it's going to assume that tech tips refers to the second parameter and when you run it it's just going to say hello and welcome uh, for the first name it's going to use you know the argument you know uh, the last name is going to use tech tips you can also use a um, keyword which means that you you can actually specify the the name of the parameter and provide a value for it uh, when you call the function so here i'm using i'm calling the function hello and then i'm i'm actually assigning last name tech tips is equals to tech tips and first name is equals to you know so i'm using keywords to to call it and then when you do it this way you don't really the position doesn't matter as you can see i just move last name to the front we'll go to the next feature which is using uh, undefined number of arguments so if you have you don't know how many arguments the function is going to require you can use this notation here which is like a star the star states that the number of uh, arguments that are going to require is unknown so you can have two you can have ten it takes any number of arguments so here i'm going to call it so in this function all it's doing is is going through all the, the arguments that are provided and putting those out here I have provided one, two, three, four arguments, and I should just print them all out. As variable is one, three, eight, and on test. Uh, you can change the number. You can have just two, and that in that case, no error, and it will, it will print out just those two. Okay, so um, one last item that has to do with functions is the ability to return a value so a function can return a value that can be used out, outside the function normally uh, all the variables you have inside your function is, are just going to be a uh, local scope that that means that they don't have any effect on any code outside the function but if you want to return something that can be used outside your function you can use the return keyword which is normally um, the last line in your function that returns a value that's calculated from within your uh, function so for instance here i have a function called uh, my multiplier that multiplies two uh, values that are provided as arguments when the function is called so we'll go ahead and uh, run it the function by itself if i run it is not going to do anything but it returns a value that i'm assigning this variable results so i'm calling it my multiplier i call the function i provide two values two and three they'll be multiplied the result will be assigned to this variable called result then i'll go ahead and print it out saying the value returned by the function is then the actual result here which is this variable here 
So it says the value returned by the function is six. So you can change this to 12, 23, and you can get whatever product you get. That's what it's returned by the function. That's it for this video. That was a, a brief overview of uh, what functions are in Python and uh, how to use them. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you on my next video. Thanks. Bye.